This is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. I'm sitting in front of my strawberry bed, and I was inspired today to actually make a recipe using fresh picked strawberries and some other things around my garden. So I could actually I could enter a contest entitled the Hot Raw Chef Contest. So this video is the extended link version uh, at the Hot Raw Chef Contest. They made me cut it down to five minutes, but you guys are getting the full extended link version. And if you enjoy my videos, the one way you can pay me back today is actually go to HotRawChef.com to vote for my videos so that I can win. Please go to HotRawChef and vote for me. In any case, let's get started and go around my garden to show you how I use some of the fresh ingredients and some of the foods that I grow here. So now I'm in my strawberry patch and we're going to pick some fresh strawberries for the dressing I'm going to make. And I want to encourage you to always use the freshest and highest quality ingredients. And I found that even going to farmers markets, the quality wasn't high enough for me. So I really had to grow my own in compost and rock dust minerals to get the full flavor of the food to come out. So I don't need to use any additives like salt to make my food taste good because if your food had the nutrients and minerals in it, it would taste good by itself without any additives. So let's go ahead and pick some of these strawberries. You can see I have so many strawberries here hiding from me. We just need to simply remove some of the leaves out of the way and brush them back. And here is a nice red strawberry. All right, so here's the last strawberry to fill up my pint. Now, strawberries are really delicious foods. They're also very nutritious. They're high in antioxidants. They fight inflammation, but they don't ripen after picking. So it's very important to pick them as ripe as possible. So I'm picking the ripe ones here, but if you're not, you wanna get them at a farmer's market. They're definitely fresher and riper, and you wanna be able to make sure they're as dark, deep red as possible. Um, the other thing many people don't know is that even organic strawberries bought in the store have been sprayed with copper so that they actually resist uh, going bad. And so then you're ingesting more copper in your diet. So that's something to be aware of. Let's move on and pick the spinach next. So we're standing in another area of my garden and we're gonna pick some fresh spinach. So yes, this is what spinach looks like when it grows up a little bit. These nice little tasty leaves are so delicious when they're fresh picked. Now spinach is high in folate and also other antioxidants. Let me go ahead and fill up this bowl with some fresh spinach. So I think I'm done finished picking all the fresh spinach. Now when you grow your own food, you get to choose when to harvest it. I mostly harvested all the little baby tender leaves for my spinach, so that's definitely a plus. Next thing, we gotta harvest the last thing, and that's right in front of me. As you can see here, I have all these amazing pansies growing, and flowers are the next ingredients that's gonna go into the salad. And here's some orange pansies. I got purple pansies, we got white pansies, we got lavender pansies, we got all different color pansies. I'm gonna pick a whole bunch of flowers to dress up the salad. Besides looking pretty to the eyes, flowers are functional. They're high in antioxidants, but remember they spoil really fast after you pick them, so it's best to grow your own. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bowl up with some flowers. So here's the last pansy flower going into the dish. Now these are all edible flowers. Another one that's common that you may know are dandelion flowers. Now they don't taste as good as pansy flowers, but they're also edible. So I highly encourage you to use some edible flowers in all your creations. So now we're in my backyard and I have a container garden with fruit trees. So even in containers, this tangerine tree, this is an ortanique uh, tangerine. We're gonna go ahead and pick this and this tangerine is gonna go into our dressing. So now that I've got all the ingredients, let's go out in front and make this dressing. So now that we've picked all our ingredients, we're ready to make the delicious dressing. And let me first go ahead and introduce all the ingredients. Once again, we have a bowl of fresh picked spinach, a little bowl of fresh picked flowers, a half cup of raw macadamia nuts, and one pint of freshly picked strawberries, plus our little tangerine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this dressing in the blender I'm using a Vitamix Turbo Blend VS today, and that comes with this normal 64-ounce uh, craft, but we're not going to use this because I find that it's really hard to get dressings out of a tall craft such as this. We're going to set that to the side, and I prefer this craft here. This is a 32-ounce craft. Works a lot better, a little bit more squared off, easy to get your dressings out of. We're going to go ahead and put that on top. We're going to go ahead and cut our tangerine in half. Oh, man, that looks like a good one. So this one's a seedless tangerine, and I'm just going to squeeze the juice literally into the blender. If it did have seeds, I would go ahead and put it in the nut milk bag. 
and literally squeeze it. So this will squeeze out all the juice in the blender craft and not get any of the seeds in there. Now, if you do blend up the seeds, that's all right. You can't eat them, but it's going to make uh, whatever you're eating uh, taste really bitter. Let's go ahead and throw that other half in there. So we're using basically uh, the juice of one tangerine. Now you could also use a orange or other citrus fruit if you don't have any tangerines handy. <laughs> so real simple, real easy. Let's go ahead and squeeze the rest of that juice out. Just like that. Next we're gonna go ahead and add our one pint of strawberries. And finally we're gonna add our half cup of macadamia nuts. Next all we need to do is simply put on the blender top and start to blend. <laughs> All right, so that'll do it. That'll make a nice creamy strawberry dressing. And now all we have to simply do is pour that over our, our spinach. Once again, you can use this over, uh, you know, noodles, over pasta noodles, uh, you know, made with a spiralizer machine. And the other trick I like to do is, uh, you know, because we're using expensive ingredients and high quality ingredients, I want to get every last bit out of the blender carafe. And I have this nice spatula that I got. It's nice. And long and it allows you to get actually underneath the blade to scoop out all that delicious dressing so as you can see we're getting every last bit of dressing onto the salad and you can use this dressing you know for a multitude of uses you know you could put in wraps put it over noodles or whatever you want sometimes I'll just put it over cut up cucumbers or even celery next we're gonna take our beautiful flowers and sprinkle them on there the more flowers the better it makes it look pretty Plus, there's a lot of antioxidants in the flowers. So there it is. That's how easy it is to make a salad out of the garden with the creamy strawberry dressing. So here is the final result, the creamy strawberry dressing over our fresh picked spinach leaves. Now, you can use any leaves or greens in your garden. You can even put broccoli pieces in there, broccoli florets, cut up some celery, or whatever you know salad fixings you would like under the dressing. So I really enjoyed making this dressing for you today. The other thing to remember is that you can use different nuts if you don't have raw macadamia nuts. Use some almonds, use some pecans, use some hazelnuts, or whatever you have. So once again, this was a recipe with under five ingredients, mostly out of my garden. And once again, this recipe was made for a contest I'm entering called the Hot Raw Chef Contest. So hopefully I'm hot, and hopefully this is raw and hopefully I win the contest. But I need your guys' help, so please go to hotrawchef.com to vote for me. Don't forget, please vote for me. I need your help. Once again, this is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. Remember, go to hotrawchef.com. We'll see you next time, and keep on growing.